Expressway at Stop and Go from Cermak to the Stevenson. There have been a couple of crashes reported in that area. Right now, there's a collision blocking the two right lanes right at I-55. Your travel time currently is 18 minutes from downtown Chicago to 95th Street. Inbound, it's 15 with just a bit of congestion approaching downtown. We've also seen traffic back up just a bit on the inbound Stevenson ramp to the inbound Ryan. And on the Stevenson itself, we're holding it 28 minutes eastbound or westbound, or inbound or outbound between the Veterans Memorial Tollway and Lakeshore Drive this morning. So on this holiday, traffic volume is light. We've had some incidents. Some roads may still be slippery. That's traffic. I'm Jim Palamonte. On AM 560, The Answer. Chicago's Morning Answer continues next in our AM 560 Weather Center. Cloudy and 31. 27 right now. Next news at 7, Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan and Amy continues next. On AM 560, The Answer. From the Matrix Home Solutions Studios, this is Chicago's Morning Answer. On AM 560, The Answer. Listen to AM 560, The Answer, online at 560theanswer.com, on the AM 560 mobile app, on your Alexa-powered smart speaker, on TuneIn, iHeart, and radio.com. Only the biggest stories, only the biggest guests, and only the biggest opinions. This is AM560, The Answer. Top of the morning, Dan and Amy. I don't know uh, why it took uh, Elmhurst uh, Champagne Socialist minders to uh, take notice of the sign and create such a story. I mean, I noticed it going oh. at the Elmhurst Cigar House for weeks and weeks before it became big news. Last week, CBS News reporting on... Elmhurst Cigar House, owner Sean from Elmwood Park. You'll recognize Sean as a friend of the show, yes. of course. Friend of uh, ours. A posted a sign after the election, Biden voters keep out. Did a double take and looked at it. Just find it really, truly appalling. Biden voters keep out. Pretty much that I would like to stay out. <laughs> I cannot go in. But I find that offensive. I find it horrible. I'm a Trump supporter, so if somebody put um, Trump supporters stay out, I wouldn't, you know, find that a very kind thing to put. And to their concern, Sean had this to say. Why put the sign outside of your business? I don't want them anyway. I don't want them in there, and I don't want to have to pretend that they have respect for me. So I'm going to show disrespect for them. This is no joke. You do not want Biden voters in. Don't come in my store. Tell your friends. I don't want you in the store. I don't want you near me. Uh, I want you. Don't even look at me. I've been in the store, and I can attest to the fact that he is serious. <laughs> he does not want Biden voters in there. Yeah. So we figured we'd check in with them and see how the week has gone since this generated so much attention and uh, how uh, his business is doing in the wake of his uh, banishing of Biden voters. Sean, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, so, Sean. so what's the last week been like? Well, I'll tell you what. How about that transgender Pat that walked in yesterday? I was confused when he came through the door with his bosom and his leather jacket. And, uh, you know, I, I get a lot of hate. And they come in and they say, you know, what's your most expensive box of cigars? I was going to buy one, but I'm a Biden supporter. And I like to let them know exactly what i think of them and if i if they think i'm dumb enough to buy that nonsense and then they call the old lady and uh they call her all kinds of nasty filthy names i get a lot of hate to the store but that's only a small fraction of the love that i have gotten from literally literally around the country it has been spectacular well what's the strangest so phone that, call you've gotten or the most unique phone call from where i got a call from louisiana well, I have to tell you this. I brought in my cousin, and I don't have employees, Amy, because I understand how the Illinois Gestapo run their, their, their tyranny. So they're going to tell you how you have to pay them and how many hours. So what I do is I have partners. I give everybody a little chunk, and they only get paid on how the store does. Well, I've got two, and they're very excited. I had to bring in a, a relative of mine strictly to answer the phone. Wow. It I, has been nonstop. I, uh, just that Sean's... Um initial reference to this it's pat character who walked into a store yeah, what's the... i was actually there for that oh, uh, this was yesterday morning at like 10 o'clock in the morning so it was an interesting way to start your sunday but you know it's one of those things it's so interesting because he he came in and i believe it was a he i'm not positive he uh, came in because of the biden voters keep outside i mean 
you know, the whole like if if you saw a business with a Trump voters keep out, would you go in to try and start trouble? No, but they feel emboldened to go in and moralize. And um, uh, it became, uh, you know, a spirited conversation. Ultimately, he was um, asked to leave the premises. Um, So I I, I can attest to what Sean is talking about. Yeah, but I got a real. I got a beef to pick with you. Yeah. Out of the two of us, you're the only one with a real career and a real shot at making something out of yourself. When you hear me getting in a fight, will you stay in the back, damn it? This guy, Amy, you had to see him. He thought he was from Melrose Park. He comes running out. It was phenomenal. Well, I got him right off the seat. First time I saw him off the couch. Well, I, I felt like I needed to intercede, not because I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like Gandhi. I'm all nonviolence. Yeah. But... Um, but I, I wanted you not to kill anybody because I thought that would be bad for business. <laughs> that, that is bad for business. And, you know, you can see by the help I have from the Illinois Republican Party or the Republican Party writ large how wonderful they are to support um, their supporters and how I've been completely and totally abandoned as the cabal of of really – Marxists, socialists, communists that make up the the Democrat Party are organizing both, not just the size 16 yoga pant mafia that posted the sign, but from what I hear through the grapevine, even business owners, even other professionals, and even, even some politicians in the neighborhood, which I say, I love it personally. Because I got 380 pounds of legal advice for free that's in the store constantly. And I cannot wait to go to the mattresses. That is, by the way, how you measure legal expertise, by the pound. Uh, let, oh, absolutely. So, so you've, talked, you've talked about uh, how, the, the positive reaction around the country. People call in and say, I don't even smoke cigars, but send me two boxes of whatever you think I should give away. Um, but w- what, about, yeah. what about some of the, the uh, people coming after, like you were referencing, including in the, the local business community? How is, how is that being received? Well, you know, here's the thing. I, I was, I, I'm very friendly, believe it or not, especially to cigar smokers, because the reality is the vast majority of cigar smokers share the same principles. Now, there's obviously disagreements for individuals, but they're normally capitalists. They're normally people who like to enjoy um, themselves and the success that they've had. So I get a lot of, of policemen from the neighborhood. I even had some politicians. And the reality is they're nervous now to come in the store. They've been reached or intimidated or referenced. I have a bunch of policemen that are not from the area that feel it necessary to change their their uniform if they come in after work or if they want to say hi on break. I mean, so what you're seeing, what you're seeing is intimidation by by really a, a, a mob. Of, of, of social engineers, of people who are do-gooders, on a little tiny store well, are, that well, meant nothing vandalized? to anybody. Well, there's, but but are, no. is anybody trying to shut down your business? Anybody in the local business community or politicians? I mean, have you heard that sort of scuttlebutt? I have. I have heard the scuttlebutt that there is an organized uh, – uh, uh, got to remember, most of these people in these positions of power that head up these boards are related to scumbags scumbag politicians and Democrats and lobbyists. And, and you know, I've made no friends of the Illinois Republicans, especially the way I feel about them. But you would think, what an opportunity for the Republican Party, even the National Republican Party. You have this story has gone viral. You know this. It's, it's, it's amazing to me. I'm in the military news. I did a, a video um, interview with an Indian news network, and they came in from India. And a reporter, and it was wonderful. I've done a couple of newspaper interviews, and the, my favorite are, are like the, the Elmhurst Patch, who did a story without ever talking to me, oh. just regurgitating Channel 2 and then, and then giving my home neighborhood where I live in, the oh. cowardly scum that he is. I'd love for him to come in for a cigar. Well, but the point is, you would think that somebody, even, even somebody that disagreed with me, where's the ACLU? Where's my help? To say, you know what, you are an American. You could say what you want. This is your business. You can have all kinds of different uh, 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 no shoes, no shirt, no service, but I can't have no Marxists. Do you have a mask requirement in your (laughs) shop? I'm just kidding. It's hard to smoke a mask with a a cigar with a mask on. Yeah. Have you been vandalized? I I mean, have they tagged you up? I can't get them. Have they tagged your your building? Have they, you know, threatened you with physical harm? No, no. Nothing at all. No, because the Elmhurst, well, the Elmhurst police are wonderful. They're very aware of the story. 
and they are outside and they patrol the area. Sean, and, uh, you yeah. know, what a shame yeah. you've done that. Well, why, why not, um, you know, to, to borrow from some of those Elmhurst ladies who reacted unfavorably to your sign, why not be an example of uh, bringing the Elmhurst community together and uh, rather than, uh, you know, inflaming more division by banning Biden voters? Why not say Biden voters, welcome, please come in. We'll have a cigar and a discussion about uh, politics and policy. Because when you look at the yoga mafia, their husbands, and you look at that dull look in their eye as these women have sucked the dreams and the future away from them as they just get dragged along. I refuse to capitulate to a bunch of sexually frustrated, cellulite-ridden women, so I will not take the sign down mm-hmm. under any circumstances. And the funny part is, uh-huh. I was in negotiations to sell the store. I mean, this was, you know, Dan, you know me. I, I'm out of here. I'm not going to live under, uh, by the way, the resemblance from our governor and some of these women. It's just astonishing. <laughs> to me. I refuse to live under Pudgy Pritzker's, um, you know, t- uh, tyranny. So I am I was out of here. We, I was inches away, and this killed the deals. I'm wondering, so all the slip and fall lawyers out there, isn't there some kind of, I don't know, torches interference case? Isn't there something? Out there for a guy like me, well, who's been crushed by the will of the by, by the will of the few. Well, there. I mean, there. If if there was a, some some substantive move to try to have your business closed, then potentially, actually, there is a there is a, a case there. But but the the flip side is, it seems like this has been a, a boon for your business. Aren't you like mer- Aren't you merchandising now? I have shirts, Elmhurst Cigar House, the Son of Liberty flag on the sleeve, and Biden voters keep out. Almost as big as the woman who put the story up, almost as big as her foot, on the back of my shirt. And uh, they're selling, baby. Mm-hmm. I, they're selling by the day. In fact, the guy that printed it up for me, I, I had to order another 50. And um, because the reality is people, people are aware of, of, of the magnitude of why I put that sign there. They think, see, the media would have you believe this is a Trump issue. You people know me. This has never been a Trump issue. This is an American principle issue. And what the, the, the Joe Biden administration, what the supporters represent are the American fascists, the American Marxists, and the American Nazis. Ironically, those are all of the things they put on my Facebook as their little nerds try to crush the business website. And that's why lawyers out there, how do I not have a case for people who are slandering my store that have never been there? People who are taking a controlled wow. effort to destroy the reputation. I what happened to sue everybody? I sue everybody. Uh, oh, Where's all the lawyers? <laughs> okay, jerky boy. Uh, so, so uh, and it's also not just T-shirts, but but, but mugs. Are, are you just going to start doing personal appearances? Uh, are you going to start doing oh, yeah. seminars on how to operate a business yeah. that divides? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that divides your customer. Yeah, base. I'm going to market myself. I'm going to market myself as 100 pounds less than the people who hate me. That's going to be number one. We're going to start doing appearances, and uh, we're going to do mugs. And here's the other thing. I don't want to sell all the cigars because then i got to file the taxes, and Porky Pritzker gets the dough. So what we're going to do is we're going to do monthly memberships starting at $9.99 all the way up to $89.99, six-month, 12-month commitments. And my goal is to get 1 million subscribers so that I can afford – to stay in Illinois. <laughs> wow. Sean Thompson, uh, w- w- Elmhurst Cigar House, where can people get information about Elmhurst Cigar House if they want to order cigars? Maybe they, they don't feel like driving to Elmhurst depending on where they live. How, how, so this, how, how can they get in touch? This You can call the store. I got a relative answer in the phone, nice as pie. He's just a little slow on the uptake, so you're going to have to repeat oh, yourself so a couple nice. of times. And and then I've got Brutal the website, family too. El- yeah. elmhurstcigarhouse.com, or bidenvoterskeepout.com which i also own and the woman was supposed to deliver it on saturday but i believe she had a dinner appointment who's building my website so i'm hoping today if she could hurry up bidenvoterskeepout.com elmhurstcigarhouse.com sean thompson proprietor of elmhurst cigar house you know him as sean from elmwood park thanks sean Thank you very much. And to all the Republicans in Illinois, thanks for your support, you lazy, fat son of a hey. gun. Yeah. All right. Wow. 
And uh, Sean joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. Listen to Dan and Amy on your smartphone. Download the AM560 mobile app today at 560theanswer.com slash mobile. The Lou Dobbs Financial Report is brought to you by Signature Bank, helping local businesses succeed. Visit signaturebank.bank for your commercial banking needs. I'm Lou Dobbs. Medical equipment makers banding together thanks to President Trump. Crazed students at Harvard want to revoke Senator Ted Cruz's diploma. Those stories next. You've all probably heard of asbestos and know that it's dangerous. Most mesothelioma diagnoses are thought to be related to asbestos exposure. People who were exposed to asbestos decades ago are being diagnosed to this day with mesothelioma. That's because it can take as many as 30 or even 50 years to develop. But did you also know there is money to pay victims of asbestos exposure from years ago? An estimated $30 billion is available to help compensate victims and their families. If you or a member of your